Hello. This time I'm felting something more difficult than my last video's hoodle. It's going to be Nacho Cat from Kingdom Hearts series. I really wanted to make this one, and I knew it will be a hard and time consuming project and I wasn't mistaken. I don't recommend this one as you're starting felting work. It's like battling the last boss on first level of your party. Well then, for Nacho Cat you need a few colors. You need to prepare, violet, aquamarine, yellow, beige, black, pink and orange color walls. That said, I've made my figure quite big, it has around 22 centimeters, all because I wanted to avoid using scaffolding inside the cat's tail and whiskers, but more on that later. I've started by making the main body. It has a strange shape, you would want the front of it to be smaller and in the end, it should be positioned lower than the back side. In short, the butt side of your bean should be bigger and higher than the front. When I was happy with the shape of the main body I moved to make the head. To start make a rugby ball shape. When you have done it, apply beige wool on the face. After covering violet nicely you should do eyes next. Just grab black wool, roll two pieces to be the same size, and flat them into a shape. You can always add some wool if you make them too small. If you make them too big, I recommend dragging out the wool slowly. You can always cover up what you make too big with another wool but I don't recommend it in this case since it will mess up 3D look around eyes. When you are happy with the size, add those small pieces of black wool into a corners. The next step is to do this front part of the cat's face. I rolled and felted two smaller rugby balls and connected them. All secret lays in making them the right size, that's all. With this felting work, I used many spare needles, it will greatly help you too if you prepare six more needles besides the one you felting with. Now you add a small piece of yellow wool into eyes and they are done. So, for yours, for me, the best way to do them was to create a patch of flat wool. This way I could control its proportions more easily and check often by putting it on the head if I didn't make it too big or too small. Only when I was sure it was good, I started to add more dimension to it. Again I helped myself with spare needles to connect tears and head. Don't worry if you have spaces at the corners of the ears where they should touch the head. You can fill those places later with wool after connecting.
Well, now it's time for the neck. As I said the main body doesn't have much straight, horizontal line. You need to drop the front a little down and with that position at a neck. It's best to felt a piece of wool first, then add it at the right spot. Now I've decided to do color and shading on ears. Felting walls don't mix well so for gradient you need to put small, tiny, almost not viewable threads of wool. When some color turns out to be too much you can try to apply beige's threads again. You will see how it works yourself. Next, I've felted three identical balls from yellow wool, then to each of them, I've added those black details so they would look like bells. I have added two of them on top of the cat's ears, the last one I will be connecting later.
After you are sure that the shape of the main body and neck is good, you can add the aquamarine color. As you see I've grabbed a strand of wool and slowly made an outline for the shape I will be filling later. The difficulty is to do both sides the same as much as possible. Now, it's a good time to add the Dream Eaters emblem. Later the collar and bell will be in the way, so better to do it before adding those two things. Just like with the main body's outline this is the same. Take pieces of wool and shape them into the emblem. If you want to see a full video of how I've made this emblem then you can see it in my Meow Wow felting video. When you are done with all those elements it's a moment to connect the head with the rest of the body. Necho's cat neck is quite thin, that is why I don't recommend doing this figure too small, of course, you can always add something inside to hold it up, but myself, I have yet done that. Necho cat is quite slim so even if you make it big, you won't use that much wool as you would use with more round figures. Neck legs, and tailor hard enough to make them smaller and even harder. I've moved Necho Cat's face a little to the side, you can use a different position of course. After head holds up and I didn't need to add any more wool on the neck it was time to felt a patch for a collar. If you do it as a patch first you will get more 3D effect and violet threads won't push out so easily from under it. When the collar is felted down into the neck you can add the last bell. Around this time I've added more wool into the backside of the cat's head. Not too much, just to make the shape more or less as it has on its official model, but not too much since I've turned my head a little and was worried too much might mess up and make the figure fall later. Better add more wool later than be sad later. It's tail time. 
For an easy start, do the oval ball first. Next, felt a piece of yellow wool into a stiff strand, just felt it for very long, it should become stiff, add pieces of orange wool at the top of this piece and pink at the bottom. If it doesn't hold up well you and always add more layers and make it a little wider. Then, just like you did a patch for ear, do a patch in the shape of a notes flag. And this is where a nightmare starts, at least for me. I didn't think legs will take me so long as around 5 hours but it's true. You have to make 6 of them and this is a good thing because Nacho Cat stands well on them at least. The difficulty is that each pair of legs is a different length and you need them to end at the same height for the cat to stand. Those legs have some details and since they are not so wide, it's easy for threads of wool from under to come out and ruin your detail color. If you want to do some leg to not stand straight on the floor like me I recommend doing it later and first focusing on making one leg that will help you create other ones. Alright, but let's start from the beginning. First, you must felt a piece of violet wool and a piece of aquamarine wool, depending on which leg you do, you will need to make the aquamarine part longer. That part will be wider too compared to the violet one. The annoying part is to do both of those parts and connect them so they don't mix and mess with each other colors. So, when you are sure the leg is more or less good then you can add this yellow and this is the next problematic part because yellow color tends to get messed up after you strike your needle around to connect it. The only tip I can give is to strike your needle not so frontal but a little down so violet threads go into other violet parts of the leg. You can do pawns after doing base leg or later, it depends on you. Don't do the top end of the leg too wide, let it in round and not so felted. It's because the main body is slim and you don't want to ruin this shape with upper legs sticking out.
when you connect all legs and pawns together. It's the time of judgment, this is the time to help yourself with those spare needles I talked about at the start of the video and to see if the length of all legs will make Necho Cat stand. With this check, I saw that the last pair of legs I've made was too short, and I could add more wool to make them longer. Of course, legs held on the needles won't be very stable but it will help you see length problems and it will help you connect them down. And if you think making legs alone was taking some time, you should prepare yourself that you won't be able to finish your figure very fast yet. Now you need to apply a lot of wool around the legs joints so they look good and natural. You will add the most at the last pair the most. It will make legs a lot more stable too. Alright, now it's almost over. Now all left is to make whiskers and details under pawns. And here it is. Necho Cat. I hope you liked this long video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I think this figure is one of the best I've made until now, if not the best. Not a surprise, the design for this Dream Eater is really good and it works great for felting. In the next video, I will do something a lot simpler, it will be the pair of ghost-like creatures from Nier, Reincarnation, meaning Mama and Carrier.